Peace to everybody back with another video. This is Trace Act. Cell phones will not be updated with C19 traceability. So all these people that are claiming, oh, your phone is going to have a certain app to trace you. See if you've been with somebody, blah, blah, blah. Stop it. Because it says cell phones will not be updated with <clears throat> C19 traceability. So there's nothing that is going to be on your phone because they because this is false claims of what people are saying it's just another bill gates agenda saying oh well you're going to have a, this app on your phone so we could trace you blah 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 Let's knock it off and here is somebody in the <coughs> office signing whatever it is i think it has to do with the tracing of whatever oh <sighs> The claim is part of the Trace Act, cell phones are being updated with C-19 traceability apps. Not true, because that's a false claim. It is not going to be part of, of your cell phone. So, don't believe everything that you see or hear from people, because you know what, they're, they're just scaring you even more. Oh, well, your phone is being cut, your phone is being traced you're such and such near person you got to go home uh no the trace <clears throat> excuse me the trace act stirred controversy on social media and brought forth privacy concerns as social media users claimed that phones would be updated with traceability apps without anyone knowing to track the spread of c19 uh, yeah, it has stirred up a lot of controversy on social media like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Um, and, it, and it has concerns that social media users claim that phones would be updated with traceability apps. Uh, no, it won't. It's not going to happen. So stop believing what people are telling you. Because, you know, it's not going to happen. You're not going to have that on your phone. So... Don't believe it. A Facebook post with an image that states, know what HR6666 means for our country, includes a section that states, cell phones are being updated with C19 traceability apps without us even knowing it. See in comments to shut off this setting. It adds, this app will track where you've been, who you've been in contact with, and random strangers your phone has been six feet away from. So these are the Facebook posts that are claiming all this mess. And, you know, it's not true at all. Um, your cell phones are not going to have no trace act, contact tracing apps on it whatsoever because it's violating your privacy and everything so you know i mean this is what they're claiming that a facebook post with an image that states know what hr6666 means for our country it doesn't mean nothing it's just false claims that you are going to have that app on your phone they could do it in china if they want to but not here in america so you know i mean Seriously, it's ridiculous. Users in the comments on the post claimed that the traceability app could be turned off on cell phones in the settings section by selecting the health bottom and turning off C19 exposure notifications. So this is what the users in the comments on the post claim. They're claiming that it is, but there is no proof of it, literally. That the traceability app could be turned off on cell phones in the settings. So, I mean, seriously, people don't believe what these Facebook posts say because you know what? They don't even know who they are half the time. Um, cell phones in the settings selection by selecting the health button and turning off C19 exposure notifications. So, yeah, this it's only a claim that doesn't mean that it's true because it's not true at all it's only a bunch of propaganda stuff even more by bill gates and fauci him themselves who should be kicked to prison 
This post is one of several claims that follows the announcement of House Resolution 6666, the Trace Act, testing, reaching, and contacting everyone that is sponsored by Rep. Bobby Rush on May 1st. So Bobby Rush is a shadow government. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. So, you know, he's just going on jibber-jabbing about stuff that's not even true in that. Uh, this post is one of several claims that followed the announcement of House Resolution 6666, the Trace Act. Testing, reaching, and contacting everyone that is sponsored by Bobby Rush, obviously, but that's not true at all. Because Bobby Rush, I think he's getting a little bit of a dementia there himself, so he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> what is the purpose of H.R. 6666? The Trace Act includes a $100 billion grant that will be used to accelerate money to nonprofit organizations, health centers, medical facilities, and more to implement testing units and hire staff in hot spots, areas to track and reduce C-19 cases. So there's no mention of the of your family's going to be pulled out of the house, you're going to get, and then pulling your children, blah, blah, blah. That's not going to happen. They're all a bunch of bullcrap liars out there who think that they're going to do something, and when they're not, and they're not really going to do it because they're lying. The Trace Act includes a $100 billion, Hundred billion dollar grant that will be used to accelerate money to non nonprofit organizations such as health centers, medical facilities, and more to implement testing units and hire staff in hot spots areas to track and reduce C nineteen cases. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has already issued guidance stating contact tracing is a key strategy for preventing C nineteen. Uh, yeah, well, the CDC doesn't know what they're talking about either. So, how, and all this crap about contact <laughs> tracing, come on. How are you going, how are you going to be traced if there's no such thing? Uh, think about it. Communities must scale up and train a large contact tracer workforce and work collaborate across public and private agencies to stop the transmission of C-19. The website reads, yeah, so the communities must scale up and train a large contact tracer workforce and work collaboratively. So they're not going to con they're not going to trace your phone, where you've been, who you've been with, blah, blah, blah. Come on, wake up. The bill also would use funds to purchase personal protective equipment and hire train and confiscated individuals' expenses. So that's what the bill also would use funds to purchase personal protective equipment and hire train and confiscated individuals' expenses. That's all it would be for. And of course, here's uh, Bobby Rush of Illinois and Karen Bass or Bass, whoever, whichever way you want to call it, of California. Um, she this was done on February 26, named after Emmett Till, so that's what it was for. Priority would be given to applicants that agree in hiring individuals to carry out activities funded under this section to hire residents of the area or community where the activities will primarily occur with higher priority among applicants. Described in this paragraph given based on the percentage of individuals to be hired from such area or community. So yeah, so that's all it is. It was have priority would be given to applicants that agree in hiring individuals to carry out activities funded under this section to hire residents of the area or community where the activities will primarily occur. There is no mention in the text of the bill that cell phone apps will be used to track 
C-19 virus or exposure to it. So there's no mention of it. So, and I don't want to hear what they said. Uh, shut up and stop listening to the damn liars. You are not going to be traced. You're not going to have your children pulled out of houses. You're not going to have your loved ones pulled out of the house either. So stop all that mess saying, oh, well, they're going to do this and do it. Uh, no, they're not. They are not allowed to do that. Another part of the bill reads, nothing in this section shall be con construed to superest any federal privacy or confidentiality requirements. So that's another part of the bill that requires nothing in this section shall be construed to supersede any federal privacy or confidentiality requirement. Rush also has also emphasized on Twitter that privacy will not be violated, including regulations under the health insurance portability and accountability act of 1996 known as HIPAA and the public health service act. So yeah, so this is why HIPAA is in place. So this way you're, so your health insurance will not be violated or or the privacy because it's under the HIPAA law. And, and if somebody was to try and violate that law, guess what? They would be going to prison for a very long time. So you may want to think about that. And of course, here's Google and Apple, blah, blah, blah. Apple and Google partner for C-19 tracing apps. Google and Apple announced April 1st a joint effort to develop technical tools and use Bluetooth technology to help the government and health agency reduce the spread of C-19 with privacy and security measures still in place. So this is what Google and Apple are doing to you. They announced April face a joint effort to develop technical tools and use Bluetooth technology. That's Apple and Google will be launching a comprehensive solution that includes application programming interfaces and operating system level technology to assist in enabling contact tracing. A news Release from Apple reads, given the urgent need, the plan is to implement this solution in two steps while maintaining strong protections around user privacy. So in other words, they can't violate your privacy because it's not allowed. Apple, Apple and Google will be launching a comprehensive solution that includes application pro programming interfaces. That's all it is, an operating system level technology to assist in enabling contact tracing. But that, So they're not going to put an app on your phone. They're not going to do none of that garbage. So stop believing what these people are telling you. Oh, well, I've got, I'm going to get the contact tracing, blah, blah, blah. No, you're not. It's not going to happen. It's a lie. It's a bogus, outrageous lie. Their plan states that both Google and Apple will release APIs that will cooperate with Android and iOS devices and will use apps from public health authorities. The apps are not required and will be available for download via App Store. So yeah, you can download it from the App Store, but I would not recommend it because that's a big no-no. You don't need your privacy violate it all right you don't their plan states that both google and apple will release apis that will cooperate with android and ios devices and will use apps from public health authorities well they would have to get permission from them and if the health authorities say no then they are not allowed to do that a Bluetooth-based contact tracing platform to which individuals would put opt-in would allow more users to participate. I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to stay opt-out, all right? So this is a blue, 
Bluetooth-based contact tracing platform in which individuals would opt in would allow more users to participate. So this is what they want out of you with this contact, with this contact tracing. They think that your, your phone is going to get updated with an app. No, it's not. It's not going to happen because it's HIPAA law. If they break that HIPAA law, then they're the ones that are going to go to jail, not you. Oh. Our rating false, and of course you know what's true and what's false about C-19 virus. We rate the claim that cell phones would be updated with C-19 tracing apps under the Trace Act or other innovatives as false because it was not supported by our research. So yeah, that claim is false. It was never supported by the research. Nothing in the bill mentions that apps and cell phones will be used to trace the C-19 virus. Rep Bobby Rush, the bill's sponsor, has stated that nothing in the bill supersedes federal privacy requirements. While companies like Google and Apple have introduced plans to create apps. It is noted that apps would be for voluntary use and individuals would decide if they want to opt in or out. That's all. All right. So the claims of that is false because it was not supported by our research. Of course, um, Bobby Rush, the bill's sponsor has stated that nothing in a bill Super Soy's federal privacy all right, requirements. While companies like Google and Apple have introduced plans to create apps, that's all they do is creating apps. There's no mention, oh, they're going to install an app on you for C-19 virus, blah, blah, blah. There's no mention of it in the bill. So, so stop believing everything that you hear from people saying stuff about this stuff because it's not going to happen you're believing all the lies that are not going to happen no contact tracing will be on your cell phone that i promise because it's all a bunch of bogus lies that you're hearing from people and you know i had to debunk this from another youtuber because he did a video about the contact tracing so i had to debunk him um for all this mess saying it's real blah, blah blah no it's not do your fact check may debunk the youtubers claims that they say oh well the app is real blah 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 uh, no it's not it's a false statement that people are just taking out of context and turning it into something that's not really going to happen so that's all it is leave your comments below i am out